Hi guys, to do a synth I need or two services to manage tasks, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between to do a synth I need and will consider six criteria to see how this tool set up. Whichever tool you choose, I will leave the link in the description. You can use it. You can start with the free version and if you like it more, you can upgrade. It is free. And thank you for using the links in the description. You can also check out our best projects management software video link in the description. So let's find out which one is better for you. For the interface, let's start with to do is, it has a simple white and red background with a few other color choices. To get more colors, you will have to buy premium version. The interface is pretty clean with a left sidebar and the settings option. On the top red bar, there is a plus button to add tasks instantly in the search bar. Anido by far has the most minimal and slick interface. The tool wants to keep things simple while still providing users with all the essential features. The tasks can be moved around from one list to another by dragging and dropping. Other than looks, though, the two programs behave pretty much the same way. Click a button to create a task, enter a title and some details and you are done. It all handles really well and you can even navigate large chunks of both programs using keyboard shortcuts. When you need to know when a task is due or just want to see the days ahead look like, you can navigate through different views by using the sidebar. Todoist also lets you access the board and the calendar from there. And for the features, when it comes to features, Todoist is the clear winner, as it simply can do a lot more than any do can. While any do is basically just a list with some small added doodads, Todoist offers a much more compressive package that includes a small calendar and even a rudimentary Kanban board. Both Anido and Todoist are pretty much the same when it comes to the basics. You get a list with bubbles on the left of each entry. Click the bubble and the task disappears or grays out. There is not much else to say, and your preference between the two programs will, will largely depend on whether you like how the list works. Anido's list has the same underlying philosophy as Todoist, though its approach sets a little differently. Functionality, they are pretty much the same though. And for the reminder options, reminding is one of the major sections of Todoist versus Anido. Todoist likes this option in its free plan. The only reminders you get are email reminders when the task is overdue. By default, Todoist reminds you of any due assignments at the appropriate time. So, no need to manually set them. You can customize the duration before receiving a reminder. Anido also notifies users of tasks, future action items, events, daily planning, and more via device notifications. Both support location-based reminders and their pit plans, which alerts you that you need to do something when you are near a specific location. Examples can include picking up your dry cleaning or asking in a shop if they carry specific products. This is very handy, especially for people who juggle lots of small tasks. And for the calendars, let's start with one of the most important features, namely the ability to plan ahead. Anido limits you to just 7 days, while Todoist allows you to plan as far ahead as you would like. That said, neither offers a proper calendar on the personal versions. Anido has one for Teams, forcing users to rely on an integration with Google Calendar if they need an at-a-glance overview of what's coming up. And for the collaboration, to work together in Todoist, you must first invite others to one of your projects. A Todoist account is required to access any projects. Once in, each project's element is visible to the member who accepts the invitation. Any team member can post a remark, ask a question, talk about the work, and even attach supporting files, such as images, videos, etc. The free plan of this app supports up to 5 collaborators per project. Anido, on the other hand, supports inviting users to the whole list. Users might collaborate by creating tasks, writing comments, and setting reminders. Anido Workspace is a great place for team collaboration where you can work together and stay organized. You can also link your workspace to other applications, add team members through email or link, view building plans, etc. And for the integrations, Bot allows you to connect and access your data on other apps easily without leaving the app. With Todoist, some of the applications you can integrate with are our stack, Jira, Gmail, Dropbox. You can also use it with Zendesk, 
Google Track, Zoho Mail, and more. The software can also connect with Google Assistant and Calendar, and Dura Studio West Chrome extension. Anido also offers several integrations like Gmail, Slack, WhatsApp, Google Chrome, Amazon Alexa, Smartware, Siri, Apple Reminders, and more. And for the pricing, both Anido and Studio West come with a free version that you can use to try the products out and see if it works for you and your team. Studio West offers more in its free version than Anido does. If you need extras like Kanban board or a better calendar, then Studio West is the better option. In order to fully experience each of the app's advantages, you will have to pay. That is, to get beyond the basic reminders, more file uploads and space, and better integration options, it will cost you. However, you can pay for a year subscription or on a mount to mount basis. To the West seems to focus on making their upgrade more interesting for freelancers, with the ability to add more collaborators and increased file upload limits. The cap on the number of projects is higher and it adds customizable themes and location-based reminders. Anido seems to have chosen to make their upgrade app more interesting for non-business users. For example, you can set recurring tasks, create themed lists, and add tags to tasks. There is also WhatsApp interaction for people who are glued to the messaging app. So choosing between Anido and Todo West depends on your business and your needs. Most freelancers will likely find Todo West a slightly better deal and people who just need a personal to-do list will probably prefer Anido. But Anido and to West have perfectly good free plans you can use to give them a spin and make up your own mind. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button, that helps too, and bye bye.